Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about using differentials to approximate change. And what I'm going to do is the problem, um, I'm going to use differentials to approximate the value 18 to the 1 fourth, or equivalently the fourth root of 18. Um, remember the differential formula dy. If our function is y equals f of x, the differential dy is f prime of x dx. The kind of key idea to remember is that delta y is what we call the we abbreviate that as being the true change in value, dy is going to serve as an approximation. So we can approximate the true change by using this formula um, on the left. Again, all you're really doing is just finding the equation of a tangent line. I mean, you could go through that whole argument. It's, uh, it's just finding a linearization at a point. You're just using um, a tangent line to approximate something, but we're just kind of doing it from a slightly different perspective here. Okay, so I'm trying to approximate the value 18 to the 1 4th power. Okay, well what am I trying to do? I'm trying to take a number to the 1 4th power. So that to me suggests that we should use the function f of x equals x to the 1 4th power. Okay, I'm trying to take some number and raise it to the 1 4th power. So this, you know, this is what I'm going to take the, uh, calculate the differential of. Conceptually, the idea is, okay, so here's my function, y equals x to the 1 fourth. Again, it looks like a, uh, basically just like a root function. Okay, so here's, um, let's plug 18 out here. So if we go up, um, so here's the point, 18 comma, well, I would get 18 to the 1 fourth power, whatever that is. I mean, that's my whole goal is to evaluate that. And... You know, you could plug it into a calculator, yes, I know, but the whole point is we're trying to approximate this. Um, we're trying to learn a useful technique. Okay, well, what you try to do is you try to pick a number close to 18 that you can take the one-fourth, that you can take the fourth root of. I think a nice number that I can take the fourth root of easily would be 16. Okay, so this is one part you'll have to think about, you know. Um, Again, whatever you're trying to do, you want to pick a number close to that that's easy to evaluate. So 16 to the 1 fourth power would be 2. Okay, so no big deal yet. The idea is, though, okay, so I'm at a height of 2, that's the y value, and I go up to this height of 18 to the 1 fourth power. This change in height in going from 2 up to, up to 18 to the 1 fourth power, this is what we um, call delta y. So this is the true change in y. Okay, so what I can do is I can say, well, 18 is going to equal the original, excuse me, not just 18, 18 to the 1 fourth. So we can say that 18 to the 1 fourth is going to equal the original, the, the prior y value, which is 2 plus whatever delta y is. Okay, but again, this is the whole problem. We don't know exactly what delta y is. So the idea is we can approximate it by taking 2 plus, well, dy. So we can approximate delta y using um, the differential dy. Okay, well, we're all, now we're getting pretty close. So this is just the conceptual part of it. It says if we take the differential dy, the derivative will be 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourths, and then we have to multiply that by our value dx. Oh, my pen's dying on me here. Um, so we have to multiply that by dx. Okay, so again, now I've got a formula for dy. I mean, we need to plug something in for x and something in for dx. Um, the thing, the value that you plug in for x, you plug in the value that was sort of easy to evaluate. So it was easy for me to take um, 16 to the 1 fourth power. So that's what I'm going to let x equal. I'm going to let x equal 16. dx is the change in x. Well, how much, how much did my x value change by? It looks like to me the change in x is 2. I go from 16 to 18. And let me even emphasize it's positive 2. I mean, your dx could be negative. Um, you know, in this case it certainly isn't, but there's no reason it can't be in general. So it says if we compute our dy, 
So we've got 1 fourth. Remember, we can write x to the negative 3 fourths. I can put that in the denominator, make it x to the positive 3 fourths. I can make that the fourth root of x cubed. But the x value that I'm plugging in again is um, 16. Maybe a better way to actually think about this. Let's do it. Uh, let's make it the fourth root of 16. How about cubed on the outside? I think that'll be a little easier to evaluate. Um, we multiply that by our dx, which is 2. So now all we have to do is compute this value and plug it in for our dy. So the fourth root of 16, we know the fourth root of 16 is simply 2. So I have 2 cubed, which is 8 times 4, which is 32 times 2. Um, so that'll simply give us 2 over 32, or 1 over 16 which is our now um, our dy value. So that's what we plug in up here. So in conclusion, what it basically what it says is it says we can approximate 18 to the 1 fourth. It says that's roughly going to be equal to again the original y value which was 2 plus our dy value which we've worked so hard here to calculate. Um, which is going to be 1 over 16. So I can write 2 as 32 over 2 plus 1 over 16, which is simply going to give us 33 over 16. So it says uh, an approximation to the fourth root of 18 would be 33 over 16. So um, I, you know, in my experience, I found that. You know, differentials are pretty easy to compute. You just take a derivative and tack on a dx. Um, certainly, this conceptual part at the beginning, I think what's actually going on is, is the part that eludes people a little bit. So if all of that didn't sink in the first time, um, I, I could certainly say you're not alone. I'm sure it didn't for me. Um, so you know, maybe take a look at it again and um, play around with it. But again, this is the key idea. You're using differentials, um, the dy, somehow that approximates um, a change in value. So, all right. I hope this helps. If you have questions or comments, feel free to post them. Hopefully, me or somebody else can help you out out there.